Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, movie number two here. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of raw footage. Uh, I'm going to rifle through this stuff, fast forward, uh, just because there's so much of it. I mean, there's so many things happening out in the uh, the sky nowadays that, uh, you know, I can make a full-time job reporting on it. This was uh, over the weekend. We had a, a pretty good storm brew through here. Uh, this camera... I believe, yeah, this one's facing southwest. So you, you can see right away these are two, uh, you got two orbs out in the sky. Um, you know, at first they could be mistaken for raindrops on the uh, on the lens, but I think as we go forward we'll see that uh, that's not the case. So let me just uh, move forward. Those, uh, those are raindrops in the infrared. Orb is pretty well defined there. It's a big swath of sky there too. So whatever that is, this is interesting here. So we had a lightning flash and a very well defined orb there, and maybe something up there. Not sure. And the lightning was incredibly. It was just weird. It was going in all kinds of different directions. Uh, we'll see some more example. Oh, here you go. Perfect. Uh, so, you know, here's the orb, and you'll see it, like, interact with... <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, all I know is this is really big in the sky. If we go back, uh, I mean, the clouds, it's behind, it's in the background behind the clouds. So whatever it is, is, is uh, at least we know it's that far back dimensionally-wise. And... Uh, it stays there for quite a while, and bam. I mean, any any ideas? Uh, any? Maybe some of you astronomers out there have, have some insight as to what that is? Anything? Anybody? Uh, you also have uh, this here, which seems to be a, a secondary orb in the background. Wow. Strange days indeed. So anyway, let me keep moving along with these clips. I mean, they're they're all pretty fairly bizarre. I mean, you almost got a, some kind of a laser beam. I don't know what the, but it it definitely seems to probe that object, whatever it is, and then uh, sends down another one this way. And again, this was a pretty heavy, pretty heavy thunderstorm. I think we had uh, actual tornadoes to the south of us uh, that night. But that's uh, solid orb picking it up uh, infrared. Let me go down to the next. Uh, Next one here. And again, I'm going to move through these pretty quick. I just uh, have a lot to do here. Uh, so the orbs. Uh, so that's that's a here's a good example right here. So here here's our orb. As I move forward, we get a lightning flash. But as you can see, the clouds cover it. Uh, so there's there's cloud formation right here. Cuts right through that orb. So. And again, whatever that thing is, it's huge. It's, it's, it's big. And then again, you get electrical effect, kind of probing that orb, whatever it is. And I'll just rifle again. I'll move through these pretty quick. Some of that's range. Some of that's other activity. Like this, uh, this beam here is certainly not rain. Uh, let's see. Let's keep moving forward here. Then we got a, another electro effect here, or whatever that is. Hey, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, th again, this is raw footage. Um, uh, I just put it out there. Yeah. Then we got weird stuff going on here because we kind of have a, you know, if it was rain, you'd expect to see a straight line. Then this this is kind of curved. And we got that laser beam effect down on the orb again. So it seems to probe that or seek that out somehow, some kind of way. And there's another one. Almost looks like we have two, one here and then one back there. And let me just fast forward so I could set up the next frame. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Next one. Yeah, the orb, uh, orb is still there. Let's see. And again, I haven't really gone through these. Wow, look at that. That's... That's pretty strange there. That just kind of pops out of nowhere. 
Again, that's a big swath of sky, so there's a lot of electrical activity going on there. Uh, you know, there is lightning, um, but then we have like this, almost looks like a searchlight, some kind of probe. But whatever that is, that's, that's huge. It's taking up a big piece of sky there. And we got whatever this is going on here. Again, I'm not even going to pretend to <laughs> to know what's going on here. This is just raw footage. We got cameras running at the sky all day, all night, and this is what they catch. And this is looking this is looking very planet-like here. Uh, you got stri striations uh, going through here, uh, kind of an edge edge wear there, and I've seen that before with. Uh, other Planet X-like uh, photos and, and, and footage. Just some weird, weird stuff happening out there, guys. Most of that is rain. And again, you get, you get an electrical probe kind of going down there. So there seems to be some interaction, some play there. And we get kind of weird stuff there. And we got a good burst of lightning there, but you can see it 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 it, it lights the object. You know, and it's kind of gray on the bottom. So I you know, I, I have no idea what this thing is. You know, I I'm I'm going to assume it's I don't know. I mean it seems to be in front of the clouds, but uh you know then again, the previous footage, the clouds did appear in front of it. So I don't know. It's hard to tell infrared at night exactly what's going on. And maybe the infrared, you know, is picking up, you know, things in the background. I don't know. But, the, you know, the rain and the, most of the lightning appears in front of it. Kind of a ghosting effect there, and some of that may be, some of this could be raindrop, but uh, primary object definitely not. Look at that, look at that ridge, with the bands. That looks familiar to me. And again, I'm going to move through this footage pretty quick because I have a lot of, uh, a lot of different frames here to cover. Put this guy in here. Wow, see, and there's, you know, that's lightning, and, you know, I don't know what, what is going on with this thing. I mean, it, it almost seems to be interacting with the atmosphere. Oh, no. Yeah, you'll get that effect. Uh, if you get a direct hit with the water on the infrared, it, it, uh, it'll it give you that. So there's a direct splash there. Okay, next one. So it's a very consistent object. It stayed there for quite a while. Uh, whatever it is. There seem to be a lot of electrical activity around that object. Look at that. I mean, that, that's some pretty weird lightning. That's uh, total white out there. Just keep moving along here. Next one. Yeah, it's a pretty weird object. I mean, you definitely have some ridging in there. It's uh, looks like it's worn on one end. It's just strange. I don't know. 
and I'll tell you, that's a again, that's a big piece of sky. So whatever that thing is, it's uh, it's huge. I mean, it's uh, it's it's covering a lot of sky. And watch that. It just it just blips out. So it's there. Kind of fades, gone. Boop. So, you know, I don't very UFO like, but again, very large, huge, and planetoid uh, like as well. So there it is, fades, boom, gone. And then we have some. Then we have something else coming into the frame from over here to the left. I don't know if that's the same thing or. Let's see what that lightning does. See, it is behind, or it appears to be behind the lightning because it's cut off right here. So I don't know if this is the same object or a different one. And we got something down here as well. And let's move on to the next frame. So some kind of an electrical effect, some kind of an attraction going on with that object and what's going on in the sky. Some pretty wild stuff. This is the first uh it's the first rain we've had in a long time up here in Illinois. I mean we're we're just toast. I mean, the lawns are toast. Everything's dry. Nothing's, I mean, it's terrible. I mean, it's just a, you know, I mean, <laughs> what's interesting is nobody really reporting on it. I mean, it's a, it's, from what I could see, it's a pretty bad drought. Oops, let me move this and put this over here. So... Weird lightning. It's it's circular with a donut hole in it and kind of snakes down this way. Just weird weather, guys. I mean, really strange. Get that effect reaching out again, grabbing that orb. Again, whatever these things are, they're not small. They they're not small to be taking up that much uh, room in the frame because that's a big piece of sky we're looking at right there move on to the next one so we see something down here just out of frame Again, these cameras are running day and night so you really have zero control over you know where they're pointed they're fixed a nice uh, blast of lightning there And the lightning is kind of weird. It stays down here and just keeps flashing in that corner. It's almost like a strobe. And the primary object right here just out of frame. So I'll move through pretty quick here. Let's see what happens. And then here we have again, much more defined. Got some ridging. Um... So there seems to be two, at least, this guy and this guy. These two almost seem to be interacting somehow, some way. And if you watch this thing closely, I mean, it kind of moves and undulates. It's uh, it's not static. But it does, uh, it does illuminate with the lightning, so... I, I have no idea what that thing is. 
Strange, strange object. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, that thing looks like the freaking, you know, bat Death Star. <laughs> That's all, I, so I could tell. I mean, you got the ridging. I mean, it looks very planet-like. Move on to the next one again. This is raw footage. Most of it I have not seen. I'm just going rifling through it. So we're seeing a lot of this together for the first time. So I have no idea. Now watch this thing. This thing almost, watch it turn. Look at it. It's turning. The atmosphere is turning on this thing. See that? Watch real close in here. Hopefully this uh, translates on YouTube for us. But look at that. This thing is, it's got... It's got an atmosphere that's rotating around. Look at that. Boom. Oh, wow, man. White out there. Boom. So look at that. The whole thing is moving and rotating. Then you get, then you get that electrical reach there, that arc. This is weird, man. Some more movement. Seems to be brightening. <sighs> On to the next one. There it is again. See, it has an atmosphere, some kind of atmosphere around it. And there's a lightning, kind of does illuminate it, so. Look at that. It's like the clouds are bending around the thing. I have no idea what that is, guys. Open the suggestions. Look at that thing. And you got a lighting effect. Look at that plasma going around it. See that? Check it out. Watch right down here, and then you get a sprite that goes up that way. It's pretty strange. And you get two, two objects that roll over the top and come down here. See that? All right, next one. So there's, it's something down here. It stays pretty consistent. We had some distant lightning. Got some kind of a lighting effect around it there. Oh, this is uh, this is just today. This is pretty. <laughs> it, it just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Uh, today I came home and and loaded some new footage. Watch up here in the uh, upper left quadrant. Now this these are lens flares. This I believe is a. Uh, you know, remnant of a little spider web, because you'll see that kind of undulate back and forth. But uh, this is, you know, definitely sun flare, sun flare. But uh, watch up here in the upper left frame, an object comes in and then leaves off to the left of the frame. That's a little spider web. Look at this. What the? What the freak is that? Just kind of comes down and leaves frame, but it seems to have some kind of a cloudy, orangish atmosphere around it. 
Again, when none of, nobody's in control of these cameras. They're just running non-stop. So that's what they catch. But let me move it forward. Do you see that? So if this this is a sun flare, what happens is, is it gets blocked out. Watch it. Look at that. So so that tells me, you know, this thing did it eclipse the sun and and cover that lens flare? Looks like the whole sky is affected by it. Watch I mean the whole the whole sky kinda changes color with it when it you know, so it comes down, leaves frame, goes near the sun, and then boom. We lose our flaring and comes right back. I don't know, guys. You tell me. That's daylight there. That's uh, time. Uh, I don't know, September 3rd, 14th. So almost 3 o'clock. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? It's pretty bright. But what I found interesting is how it blocks out that sun flare. You know, the only way it could do that is if it eclipsed the sun, is what I'm thinking. Boom. And here's uh, here's one more captured of the same, I believe. I don't know if it offers us a, any kind of a different view here. Oh, that thing is weird. What is that thing? Just kind of comes, cuts across. Boom. We got a whole sky. Uh, whole sky shifts color and we lose our uh, our lens flare from the sun. So I'm saying this thing, you know, eclipsed the sun somehow, some way. be the only way it could knock out those... Uh, these two flares right here. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. It's getting strange out there. Whatever that thing is, it's pretty big. Look at that. The whole sky kind of shifted you as that thing went by the sun. We lose our flares. Look at that. There's nothing in front of the camera, you'd see it. So it this the light the light source was, was affected outside the viewing frame. Well, that's it, guys. Make your own conclusions. Uh, you know, comments are open. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't really care. Um, that's all I have to share right now. Uh, over and out. We'll talk to you later. Keep Jesus in your heart, man. It's uh, The times are getting interesting. Talk to you later.